Well, good morning and welcome to Challenge Cup final day. We started off in Rochdale all the way back in January and we've ended up here, the stunning Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, usually home of the Premier League and the NFL, of course, but this weekend, for one year only, the home of the Betfred Challenge Cup final. What a final we've got on our hands as well. The Wigan Warriors against the Huddersfield Giants, third versus fourth in the Betfred Super League. The Wigan Warriors just favourites, but right off the Giants at your peril. Everybody, of course, is talking about the battle of the fullbacks. Jay Field, 13 tries in the Betfred Super League. He's been outstanding against Tui Lolahea, 17 assists to his name. First versus second in the Man of Steel leaderboard. This place will be absolutely rocking shortly. It's going to be an incredible occasion. Conditions are absolutely perfect. Everything is set for a classic Betfred Challenge Cup final. Let's start off by hearing from Huddersfield Giants coach Ian Watson. Watto, here we are. It's time for the Challenge Cup final. What are the feelings like at this stage so close to the game? Well, they're just excitement. I mean, we've got everything um, done that we need to do now, we're kind of boxed off in terms of our preparation. It's just about not playing the game too early now, making sure that we get ready for the, the game tomorrow. And uh, you've had a good look around the pitch, uh, immaculate surface, you must be pretty happy with what we're going to be on tomorrow. Yeah, it's not bad to play on, is it, <laughs> to be fair? It's got to be one of the best stadiums in Europe, this. You can see the amount of detail that's gone into it and the way that it's, the thought process in behind it to make everything accessible. Um, we, we've had a good look all over the stadium, it's absolutely phenomenal, this. Um, and like I say, it's probably one of the best in Europe, so it's going to be a great occasion tomorrow. I know you've still got a few cards up your sleeve in terms of your squad, but Theo Farge looks like he's definitely not going to play. Yeah. Uh, how, how big a loss is that for you and how do you mitigate for that? Oh, Theo, Theo's huge. He's a big-time player, so this is why we brought him to the club here, to be able to get to these games. And There's no coincidence why we're in, in this final. We're in this final because um, the way probably Theo's been kind of controlling us and working us around. But we've got a good enough squad. Um, we're really confident. Theo's playing a massive part in and around. You can see him out here today talking to the young guys, um, and he's playing a big part in passing on his experience. Experience. So it'll be a big part for us, but again, it'll, it'll be a big loss in just his kind of probably performance and how consistent he's been. But I'm sure that we're more than good enough to cover that up. And the leaders in your group, Luke H, captain as well, but Chris McQueen, Jerry McGilvery, Chris Hill, all played in big games before. How important is that going to be? Come yeah, huge, well? especially like what we're talking about about Tio before, and that's why I probably were so relaxed and confident with the fact that obviously Tio's out. We've obviously got players who've played in these games and won big games before in, in NRL, in, over in Australia, in the Super League, in the Challenge Cup. So we've got plenty of experience that the younger lads can lean on, and what we need from the young lads is just to bring their energy and, and, and play with that and help it energise them. On a personal level, it is lifting a major trophy kind of the next big step for you because yeah, you've done everything else. Yeah, it is, it's huge. It's, you don't want to be somebody who uh, gets the finals and lose. It's, it's no good. Coming second is no good. It's making sure that you get the win. That's the main thing. Well, I'm sat now in the home dugout, which will be Huddersfield Giants area later on. This is where Ian Watson will be. He's one of those coaches that likes to be pitch side rather than sat up in the golds. And, of course, he is going for his first major trophy at the third attempt a grand final in 2019 with Salford and a Challenge Cup final with the Red Devils in 2020. Will it be first time of asking for Ian Watson as Huddersfield Giants head coach? Well, the man who will be trying to stop him and his side is, of course, trying to win his first trophy as well, Wigan Warriors, Matty Pete. Matty, you've obviously been building up to this for a couple of weeks, but you've had a good look around the stadium today. What's the, what's the mood like amongst the camp? I mean, the arena, firstly, you get told that it's special, but I think to see it first hand, it's, uh, it is fantastic. Uh, ultra modern, state of the art, but I think it still feels like it's going to generate a great atmosphere. It's compact, it's enclosed, and I feel like that you can. Uh, it'll get noisy, which is, is what we all want. Tommy Lulaway in your squad, a real boost. It must be one having him in the group and available to play, but also his influence on those younger players who maybe haven't been here before. That's it. It was really important for us to have Tommy in the 21 to come with us for the week uh, and to be around the place to get him into the changing rooms. Uh, so, yeah, having Tommy in and around is, is amazing. He's, uh, he's one of our leaders and he has a big influence on the group, particularly the younger end players who we can guard around occasions like this. Lots of talk about the matchups in the kind of the outside backs and the battle of the two full backs, but actually given the fact it's gonna be pretty warm and intense, that full battle is gonna be key, isn't it, and who can get on top early. Yeah, I think any any rugby man or rugby lady will tell you that it's one through the middle and uh, Huddersfield very, very strong, particularly with Hill and Yates and I'm a big fan of Oliver Wilson as well, so uh, the way they'll start the they're, they're gonna challenge us and uh, you're right, I think uh, us holding uh, that, that middle of the field is going to go a long way to who comes out on top. 
Wigan have won the Challenge Cup more than any other club. No one's won it at Tottenham before, though. That must be such an exciting thing coming into a game like this that you've got an opportunity to make some history, make it yours. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think uh, you know Wembley's iconic and has history, but what this will, will do is he'll be remembered as a, the Tottenham Hotspur final, and uh, we want to look back on that with, with fond memories and uh, for, for us and our fans. And you, your favourites coming into this game, but really, when you look at the two squads, it's going to be a pretty even matchup. You must be expecting, a, you know, probably the toughest game of the season so far. Yeah, I'd say so. I, I, I genuinely think the two very evenly matched uh, teams, in position for position, but also where we're at in our development as a group, and probably trying to achieve similar sort of things in uh, the way Ian prepares his team. I'm a big admirer of and. He's had success and it's built on hard work and attention to detail, which is, you know, we believe is a great route to success. Don't miss a thing from the new home of Rugby League Online. Follow the sportsman on social media and follow their YouTube channel for exclusive content. We're in the inner sanctums of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the Nerve Centre, and at about five minutes to three, it's going to be very tense in this room as the two teams line up ahead of the Betfred Challenge Cup final. This is the walk that they will be making down the tunnel into the cacophony of noise here at this incredible stadium. Wigan Warriors, of course, last won this competition in 2017. It's been a long, long wait for the Huddersfield Giants. Can they end that drought? This afternoon, we'll find out. It's about here, I reckon, that the noise will hit them and they'll realise exactly where they are. It is an incredible venue. It's going to be a privilege to watch Rugby League in this great stadium. And one of the players privileged to be in that game is Jermaine McGilvery. Jermaine, here it is, cup final time. What are the feelings like going into this game? Uh, I can't speak for the rest of the boys, but uh, a bit of nerves, uh, a bit of fear. You know, the normal game day stuff, probably but uh, times 10 you know it's a, it's, it's a special occasion it's a it's a massive occasion you just had a bit of a training session on the pitch and a look around what, what do you make of it as a venue yeah outstanding uh, it's i was saying before it's, it's the best facilities i've i've ever seen uh, the surface is immaculate so it's, it's more than ready for a challenge cup final you know it's it's, it's just a, the perfect stage a hard fast pitch the weather looks like it's going to be superb but perfect yeah. weather for outside backs yeah, I don't, maybe the young outside backs, I'm not sure about me, but nah, uh, the weather's perfect, uh, perfect day for rugby, uh, so I'm hoping the, the stadium gets packed, you know, Wigan fans, Giants fans, locals, you know, everybody comes down and, and watches a spectacle. Hey, you've been at Huddersfield for a long time, of course, how much would it mean to you to, to give a trophy to the fans and the club? It would mean everything, you know, that's the reason why we play the game, at the end of the day, when, when we finish, when we stop playing, we want something to show for it, and, you know, it would kind of be a disappointment for me personally, I've finished my career and, and you know, I've not won anything of, uh, of significance. Uh, it's, but hopefully, uh, come tomorrow, come the end of tomorrow, uh, we're going to have something to show for it. And you know, but it's a tough ask. We're going to a top side. You know, they're an awesome team, famous team as well. They're used to winning, being in finals and, and winning cups. So it's going to be a very tough game for us. And you're a Liverpool fan as well, aren't you? So it could be a pretty special day tomorrow. Yeah. If you win and they win in the evening. Yeah, exactly. So if we win, uh, <laughs> Liverpool win and Town win on Sunday, it'll be a perfect weekend. But you know, uh, it's, it's all about us tomorrow for me anyway first, and then we'll look at that after. Yeah, Jermaine McGilvery, already a Huddersfield Giants legend, of course, but he could really etch his name into the folklore of that club. This afternoon here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, it is perfect conditions. It's an absolutely gorgeous weekend. It always seems to be for the Betfred Challenge Cup final. It's going to be hot out there. It's going to be hard work for the forwards. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top. But one man definitely key in that battle is Wigan's John Bateman. John, obviously building up to it all week. Now you're here. A stunning venue, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. How's the feeling being walking around today? 
yeah, pretty good, mate. Like I said, it's a, it's a great venue. We're looking forward to tomorrow. Obviously, the atmosphere looks like it'll be, be a bit bouncing in here. So, mate, it should be a good atmosphere. We're looking forward to it. You were last in this final in 2017. Obviously, a competition that means so much to Wigan. How much are you looking forward to the opportunity to write some more history? Yeah, 100%, mate. It's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Especially playing in the finals. This is what you work hard for, mate. So, we're looking forward to getting out here, mate, and just enjoying it. It's, a, it's another game of rugby, and we're looking forward to just getting taking part in it. Okay, it's warm. It's going to be tough out there in the middle. That forward battle is going to be key, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have to get some sun cream on tomorrow, mate, if it's like this. But, yeah, pretty big, decent pack, obviously, from Huddersfield itself. Pretty, pretty big and pretty mobile. So, yeah, mate, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge and we're looking forward to getting out there. And it is an immaculate surface. With the outside back unit you've got, you must feel as, as a pack that if you can get on the front foot, you can you can get your team. Well, that's what it's all about, mate. I think that's what it is week in, week out. I think playing some great surfaces as well in the Super League. So I think it's about us setting the platform and obviously the, the, the lads on the outside backs taking care of that. So yeah, we're looking forward to it again, like I said. Probably a bit different to the last time you played in a, a big final for, for Wigan. You're a senior player now. You, you, Slightly what at the older end because of so many young talent, so many young players in this group. Has your role been a little bit different in terms of just managing those players through this week? Um, I suppose a little bit. I suppose it's it's been different since I got back to the club, so it's not really new this week to a fair mate. It's just about going out, talking to younger lads, and obviously telling them to enjoy the experience, take it all in, and being in the moment, mate. I think because I think that's what these big games are all about. Well, there we have it. The talking is done, the stage is set, and it is almost time to find out who will be lifting that famous trophy, the Bet Fred. Challenge Cup here at Tottenham. It is the Wigan Warriors and the Huddersfield Giants. Don't miss it. If you haven't got a ticket, make sure you've got your favourite armchair booked because this is set to be an absolute cracker. History will be made here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the Betfred Challenge Cup Final.